Hi everybody, my name is Lily and I'm the book reviewer behind Utopia State of Mind. I recently lost my voice. Um, if you saw, I tried to make like a community post about it. I have no idea like how to do this, but I tried to make a post. I have no idea if anybody saw it, but um, I tried to make a post and that's why there wasn't a video last week, but it's feeling, sometimes it's feeling okay, sometimes not. So I'm going to talk quieter. I'm going to bring the mic closer to me, but I wanted to chat today about something that is a little bit time sensitive. So I am like going to put together this video, even though ugh, my throat feels like garbage. Okay. So the thing that is time sensitive is related to the topic of the video, which is that I'm going to be chatting and showing you my library holds. I just thought it would be really fun. Um, if I showed you what is like currently, um, on my TBR in terms of the library, I adore the library. So I'm constantly using the library, but it relates sort of to the time sensitive part of the video where I'm chatting about audiobooks mostly. Um, and I'm reading so many audiobooks in July, or I have been so far in July because Libro FM is doing a promotion where you listen to as many hours of audiobooks as you can in the month. Everyone who participates will get a free audiobook credit. And then if you hit certain tiers, you'll be entered into winning other prizes. I will leave the links all down below. I'm going to be entering. Um, I've already started. I keep a stopwatch every day of how much of an audiobook I listen to. And I'm tallying this up on a, on a keep list. Um, I'm going for gold, which I think was... 50 hours in a month like I don't know if I'm gonna make that um just a quick time check I guess into my progress I've been I've done so far five, about 12 hours yeah about 12 hours hold on when does this end I think it only ends on July 30th Wow, I thought it for some reason, I thought it was all month. And then I definitely won't be, won't be doing it because that's a lot. Let's see. Here's all the information. As I said, I will link it down below. Um, yes, gold is 50, per, 50 hours, uh, but it's July 16 to 26. Oh my God. I... Mm. Okay, well, I'm going for gold, but I don't know if I'm going to make it. So far, I've read 12 hours, so I'm already in bronze. Um, silver is 30 to 49 hours. Um, I don't know. I thought it was all July. Anyway, that's why I'm making this video, because by the time this video comes out, it will be the 23rd of July, which means that you'll have... Oh my god, only three more days, but it will be enough to at least enter into the challenge and you will receive a free audiobook credit. Um, and maybe I guess if you in the next three days are able to read um, 10 hours and it would at least qualify you for bronze. So I'm sorry that I didn't get to this sooner. But as I said, I found out about this when I was sick. So I'm going to chat with you about my library holds, um, you know, the longest intro ever. But I am a part of every library I possibly can be. So for context, um, I'm part of my local library. I'm part of the New York Public Library. I'm part of like any library in New York City that would let me. So in my case, Brooklyn and Queens. So on my library holds, and this are all organized by how many weeks I have left. So the first one is The Angel of Indian Lake. I so enjoyed reading Don't Fear the Reaper on audiobook. So I knew that I had to listen to um, The Angel of Indian Lake on audio. For me, listening to the audiobook for Don't Fear the Reaper was like the key unlocking for my love of this series. So staying true to it. The next one is The Lady of Rapture, which is the last book in the Bones of Ruin trilogy. I'm very excited for that one. Um, the next one is Stars and Smoke. I have a copy of this book. I think I even pre-ordered a copy of it because I've really enjoyed some of Marie Lu's books in the past, but I just never got to reading it. Um, and so now I'm going to. So basically, um, Audiobooks for me are a really great way to not only read books that I've pre-ordered, 
that I just never got to reading, but also audiobooks that I had copies of on NetGalley that also never got to reading. Um, some of those coming up. The next one is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which if you saw my romantic, what was it? What was it called? Like the romantic fantasy or the romanticy panel that I recently did with Megan Bannon. Megan recommended Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which I had on my TBR. Um, bought a copy, realized it was gigantic. Kept on my TBR, took it off because I was like, this is gigantic. Um, and the audiobook is 32 hours. So I'm going to try for Megan, but I, I just don't know. The next one is A Withered Skies to Defensive Baking. I've really enjoyed some of T. Kingfisher's work, and I've also seen a lot of hype about this. I also saw it re, it sort of got back on my TBR because I saw I, I don't remember subscription box, which was themed after this. Um, and I didn't realize that it was defensive baking for some reason. I always thought it was a wizard's guide. I don't know why. Um, the next one is Finding Mr. Right. I have put this on my TBR because it is audiobook narrated by Natalie Nottis, one of my favorite, if not favorite, audiobook narrators. Um, the next one is The Water Outlaws, which is a case of what I talked about earlier, which is I got the NetGalley copy and just never got to reading it. For some reason, I had made a plan in my mind about what I was going to read for that month, and for some reason I thought it was going to be a novella, but it wasn't a novella. It is a full-length book, and so I had planned to have the novella-length time, uh, but then I realized it wasn't a novella, and so I didn't get to it, and so I'm going to read the audiobook for that one. Next one is Cascade Failure. I did a panel with the author of Cascade Failure, and I'm really excited to actually read it based on everything I heard on the panel was one of the ones I didn't get to read beforehand, so I'm excited for Cascade Failure. And the last one is My Contrary Mary. I have really enjoyed the My Lady Jane, the My, the Janie series and the Mary series, I guess, from these three different authors. I've read some of them. Maybe this will show me. I've read some of the ones from this series, but not all of them. So my goal is kind of just to finish reading those ones. And those are all of them that are on my library hold list. So I'm excited for those. Um, I'm really hoping that some will come in for this audiobook challenge from Libro FM. Currently, though, an audiobook I just finished in the last couple of days, Swift and Saddled, which I got a copy of at an event. Um... It ended up taking me a lot longer than I thought. Oh my god, what was it? Wait, it's in my hold. My history. Curious Tides. I really enjoyed Curious Tides, but for some reason I thought it was a lot shorter than it was. And then I'm currently listening to um, Now Conjurers, which is one that I have not only a NetGalley arc of, but also a NetGalley audiobook arc of. So I'm excited to read that one. And I have 14% through and I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you still have time to get in on the Libro FM challenge. And in general, I hope this was a really fun look into what's coming up for me next. And also how often I use my libraries. Let me know what you are currently listening to down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!